welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday. <laughs> we are so excited you're here. Uh, it's going to be a fun show. It is. It's going to be a fun show. A lot. Um, yeah, we've been looking forward to this one for a, for a while. Yes. So it <laughs> should be good. So welcome to the channel. Welcome to the show. Uh, if you haven't been here before, please feel free to like the channel. Feel free to subscribe. Um, hit the little bell and then you can be notified if we do any little shorts or if we do any live or any other live shows, um, videos, anything like that. Yep. Um, we would love for you to become a part of our little family. So feel free. So we love for you guys to join live with us too. If you're watching later, please feel free to come in live when, when we're here. And that way we can kind of call out your name while you were, while we're talking and, and just have fun together. Yes. It's always a good time. We love having comments. Yes, we sure <laughs> do. And we've got destroyer in the house. Howdy y'all. What up, man? Howdy, howdy. And Turbo Tom, how are you? Time man? to make the donuts. I made the donuts. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, you yes, that's a good a good indication of what's going to happen tonight. Yes. yes. So last week we did um, we did date night last week, and we talked about some of the different things that we did during our time. You know, when we were, we're young. Growing up, yeah. yeah. Like some of the fun things like going to the arcade, going to movies, mm -hmm. um, just hanging out together in big groups. Yep. That was always really fun. Yeah. So, and this weekend I have to give a good shout out to Mama San because <laughs> Mama San invited me to go and watch uh, her and Destroyer's oldest daughter play volleyball in Dallas. And I got to go see her play live and in person. Yep. And let me tell you, it was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I had a blast and it was just such an honor to to be invited to go and so thank you very much so don't want to get emotional but it was a good time <laughs> it was a very good time um but yeah it was we had like the best part of it was watching them win you know so many games and and take home the the bronze you know division. And the yeah. bronze division that was really fun um Yes, Mama San, amazing weekend. We went, <laughs> we were in Dallas, so we took a couple of trolley tours around and and saw a lot of the history of Dallas, and and it was that was really fun, like going over there and and just I'm a history buff anyway, so just to be able to see the history of it, that was neat. And we were a couple of blocks away from where JFK was shot, so yeah, didn't know it at first, but <laughs> <laughs> like we walked down there and oh, oh by the way, yeah, that's wow. where JFK got shot. <laughs> we could see it from our hotel; it was amazing. <laughs> um, but I think like the. I think the most shocking part for me was getting hit in the face with a volleyball, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of bent my glasses up and everything. Um, but Dan fixed them. So, you know, Dan IT guy had to fix them, which yep. was awesome. Um, but yeah, if you're at a volleyball tournament. What else is going to happen? You're going to hit, you're going to get hit by a volleyball. Yes. Just, it's just one of those things. If you've ever been to a volleyball game and you have not been hit by a volleyball, then you just haven't gone enough. So that's <laughs> you obviously part. haven't been you, you haven't been to a, a big tournament. Right. You haven't been to a big tournament. For an entire weekend. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know how many courts there were, but there were a lot. That's and awesome. yeah, it was yeah. it was at the convention center in Dallas, which is it by the way, it's the largest concrete concrete uh building structure. I think in the world. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. Mama Son will have to tell me about that. Yeah. But at least in the United States. So that's part of the history I learned on the trolley tour. Neato. They're building a new Duncan's down the street from the dealership. Oh, it's one of my favorite places in the whole wide world. Mm, love yes. their, I, love, I love their iced coffee. Who shot JR? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just shot the sheriff. So. <laughs> but you did not shoot the deputy. But I did not shoot the deputy. <laughs> Well, we're going to get rolling. <laughs> this week, we are talking about commercials. So when we were growing up, you know, you didn't have a DVR and you didn't have like, we didn't even have VCRs until like the what, late 80s or something. Yeah. Um, and so commercial time was time to get up and go to the bathroom or get a snack yep. or, you know, go change out the laundry or let the dog out. That's what <laughs> commercial times were for. And, uh, you know, so that's what we use commercials for nowadays we can pause the tv and we can do all those things in the middle of a show and yeah. so it's amazing the other thing that's amazing now is we can fast forward through all those commercials so i don't know what commercials are like today because <laughs> we don't watch them <laughs> we don't watch them. 
Whenever we can avoid them. Mr. L says three licks. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes he does. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> We're going to find out what else Mr. L says tonight. Uh, but yeah, so these are some of the, the our all-time favorite commercials from mm -hmm. when we were growing up. And, you know, some of them we, we didn't include, but, you know, these are some of the highlights. So we'll get going. Uh, yeah, Toys R Us. We talked about them a couple of weeks ago when we talked about toys. Mm -hmm. And was it last week? Or, no, it was two weeks ago, right? Two weeks ago. Yeah. So last we, week was candy, right? I think so. Yeah. No, last week was date night. So it must have been three weeks ago. Three weeks anyway. Ago. Anyway, yeah. So Toys R Us. <laughs> <laughs> we always loved watching the Toys R Us commercials. Because I'm a Toys R Us kid. Yeah. Yes. And Slinky, we talked about that one a couple of weeks ago too. Um, you know, I don't. Fun, it's a wonderful toy. Yeah, it's fun for a girl and a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, hey, Brett, how are you? What's Thank up, you dude? so much for coming in. I'll forever be a Toys R Us kid. Yes, me too. I cannot walk through like even going over to Walmart or something. I can't go. I can't walk through there without walking through the toy section. I love doing that. <laughs> hey, Mopar's Mustangs and minivans. What up, man? Toys R Us. Yes. Yep. <laughs> and I'm not going to sing the Slinky song because I don't want it to like earworm. Oh, my goodness. You know, for the rest of the night. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. There's there's enough of these commercials that'll get stuck <laughs> in your head. Well, Let me just tell especially you. Especially as many times as we saw when we were kids. <laughs> <sighs> yes. Yes. Slinky pros are insane with them things. Yes. They're Slinky pros. <laughs> yes. Really? Yes. They do some crazy stuff. What was the movie that had, they had the Slinky around his head? I don't know. It was it was a weird. Hmm. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining weird that. Weird science. I don't know. No, my local Toys R Us closed and turned into a Michaels. <laughs> yeah. So toys for uh, other people for ours. Ours closed out here. Yeah. And it became a Salvation Army. Ours closed like the one in Arizona closed, and it's just empty. Yeah. It sucks. Did Little Debbie have ads? I don't know. Did they have ads? I want to say they did. They probably did. I don't know. But I, th I think they were filmed in Dallas. Like Debbie does Dallas or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, wrong thing. Sorry, wrong thing. No. <laughs> Completely different. Subject. Completely different. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm skipping ahead. What's going on here? So Dan told me I had to include this because I didn't include very many car ads because we're going to do another show later on that talks about cars from that period. But that's pretty much what I drove. The Chrysler minivan. <laughs> Ours was actually the, the predecessor to this. Ours was the, the Ram van. Ours was the Toyota. I, I I don't know what it was called. Oh, God. I can't remember what it's called. We we called it the Silver Bullet. My brothers oh, called it like the Shag Wagon. Like but the Space Shuttle. I can't yeah, remember what it, they called it. Yeah, it had like the, thing, the, the, it was like really narrow. The weird, like, the weird front end on them. You're like sitting over the front tire. <laughs> it was like driving a bus. It's like, weird. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like Mario Kart or something. I yeah. <laughs> I remember King Dongs and Ho Ho's. <laughs> yeah. Ding Dongs. Yes. Ding Dongs and Ho Ho's. Yes. 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 Those were my favorite. I love those. Dan likes hope. Hope. Well, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Different subject again. You're getting off off topic. I'm sorry. Now. I'm sorry. Yes. So Nike. Rain it back in. Rain it back in. So a lot of different clothes <laughs> ads. So Nike had like you know so many different commercials, but I really remember like the Jordan stuff. You know yes. the Jordan commercials because you know. He Michael was Jordan. a huge spokesperson, and we were really big Chicago Bulls fans at huge. the time. Huge. 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 Yes. <laughs> so I have to give props to Mr. Michael Jordan. Amen. Yes. Jordash jeans. I'm sure this was a roller what? skate commercial at the time. Holy Wait crap. a minute. That's a guy. I'm talking about the girl with no shirt on. Guys don't wear freaking jeans. Good short ass jeans. Maybe they're hers. And, you know, I think they both should have found a shirt, though. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Maybe that's June. It could be June. <laughs> that's that's June and, and Dick. I think. I don't know. <laughs> it's a man, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a man, baby. 
Tomas says that's the ugly band. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I think that's June with Dick. She spent one summer with Dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, so Jordash jeans. Uh which how many of us kids wore these? Oshkosh Bagash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those things were like almost indestructible. They sold them at Kmart. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. Yeah. We sold they sold them at Kmart and you know, like everybody that I knew wore Oshkosh Bagash jeans. Everybody remembers K Fart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I started working at the dealership in 84 when the first minivan showed up. No way. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, minivans, they were not a good looking car. Not no. But I'll tell you what, they were a hell of a good vehicle. They were practical for that, sure. That we I don't even I can't even tell you how many miles we put on that Ram van. We still sold it to somebody yeah. who still drove it for another <laughs> I don't know how how long. So Tom Mopar <laughs> so, said to sell me one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Those things never got any tears on them. I think they were made of like, I don't know, lead, part lead. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. Something. Budweiser. This was actually one of the, the Super Bowl commercials with the th with the three frogs. I remember that one. Yes. Bud. Wise. Er. Er. <laughs> <laughs> and we did find a Budweiser commercial. You know, the, the Clydesdales are like Clydesdales, you, they're classic. You yeah. know, classic Clydesdale commercial. This is so romantic. Well, it's about to get a little bit more romantic. A little candlelight. Oh. And a little bud light. Oh. Do you smell barbecue? Oh. Fresh, smooth. Yes. <laughs> Destroyer is fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you did last summer. <laughs> I know about leaf pipes and the other one I can't think of. Bell bottoms. Bell bottoms. Yes. Yes. Uh, Levi's. Um, Cor uh, corduroys. Corduroys. You wore corduroys all the time. Yeah. I could always. I... <laughs> we we play hide and seek, and I can always tell when you were getting close. Cause... <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Oops, did I pick the wrong one?" No, no, you did not. No, that, that was, was exactly the right one. <laughs> no, had, I was actually saying. In it. Thank you. <laughs> that was hilarious. I will never forget that commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I didn't like the minivans 96 to 07. I I just did not like minivans, period. Until I got my SUV, like my um, Kia Sorento, I didn't really like minivans at all. Oh, who we got here? One Eye Cat. Hello. <laughs> how are you? Hello, man. <laughs> the roads beat out the, the Clydesdale horses. Yes. Yep. I just always like those Clydesdales. There, there was one um, <clears throat> right after nine. Uh, right after nine eleven, they did um, they did a, a Clydesdale commercial, and it was really sweet. That one, yeah, where where the horses are kneeling in front of where the the twin towers used to be. That one, I I cried every time I saw that commercial. It was really neat. But anyway. Uh, yes. Bud White, uh, Bud Light had Spuds McKenzie. <laughs> Spuds McKenzie. <laughs> Love that dog. <laughs> they sold a hell of a lot of beer with that yes, dog. Yes, they sure did. I think I started drinking Bud Light because of Spuds McKenzie. Would not surprise me. <laughs> well, hey, if it's good enough for Spuds McKenzie, it's good enough for me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Wendy's. When, Wendy's, is yes. The beef. Yes, this lady here. Where's, Where's the, beef? the beef? Don to Don is here. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Hey, Tim, how are you? What up, cuz? <laughs> yeah, so where's the beef? Have to play that commercial. That one, I love that old lady. 
It certainly is a big bun. It's a very big bun. Big fluffy bun. It's a very big fluffy bun. Where's the beef? Some hamburger places give you a lot less beef on a lot of bun. Where's the beef? At Wendy's. <laughs> the other two ladies are so nice. It's a very nice big fluffy bun. <laughs> Where's, Where's the, the beef? beef? <laughs> Wonder how much Spud's made for doing those commercials. Uh, a couple uh, cans of dog much. food, I think. Yeah, that's probably about his, it. His handler probably got paid pretty well. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Whoever his <laughs> agent was got paid well. <laughs> he said, "I was way too far behind." Where's the beef? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, and I remember that you don't go, you don't buy no ugly truck commercial. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Yep. Oh my gosh, this next one, Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> my mom had to go around <laughs> because they were at that time when they came out with this. My mom had to collect all of those little chihuahuas. Were they like beanie babies or something? No, they were like plastic things and they the heads moved. They were oh, like that's right. bobble, bobble heads. Head. That's right. And we had to collect all of them. Yeah. So we had to keep going to different Taco Bells <laughs> around the city to collect these things. And I'm like, you're not going to collect all four of them. She ended up collecting all four of them, though. Of course. Had all four of them sitting across her, uh, the dashboard. Didn't they say, car. didn't they have a thing where you touch the leg yes. and it would go, yo quiero talk about Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, I know Spanish. <laughs> I know Spanish. I can say something. Yo something. quiero Taco Bell. I can say something, something Taco Bell. I don't know what it means, but something, something Taco Bell. I think it means I want Taco Bell. <laughs> I think that's what it means. I can't believe they get rid of those Chico commercials. <laughs> <laughs> and then she ended up getting a Chihuahua when we moved to Arizona that looked just like that. And yeah. the dog's name was Sugar. So my dad came home from work one day and he's going, Sucra, Sucra, come here, Sucra. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he goes, well, it's a Chihuahua. It's a Mexican dog. So I'm saying its name in, in Spanish. And I'm like, <laughs> you're an idiot. Does it bark in Spanish too? Like, my <laughs> like you're an idiot. <laughs> you know I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> you know I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> the McDonald's Big Mac. Who remembers this song? To all well, beef patties, special sauce, sauce lettuce, cheese, cheese pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. bun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> my dad said to us I don't remember it. No, I don't either. <laughs> my dad said to us if we could remember the whole thing, he would go and buy us Big Macs. So my brothers and I like memorized it. Yeah. We we probably said it to him two or three times during the summer. It was actually to all beef patty special <laughs> sauce, <laughs> lettuce, cheese, pickles, <laughs> onions on a sesame <laughs> seed bun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, Worst Mickey D's ad ever. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, I <laughs> no, I love that one because we had to memorize it in order to get one. Yep. So, yeah, if we didn't have it memorized, my dad wouldn't buy us one. I think that was his way of improving our memory or just not spending much money. I'm not sure. <laughs> I like that commercial, though. Yes. This one here, this one is our favorite, though. My favorite commercial of all time. <laughs> yes. Sure. Um, especially when I was, I was working 16 hour days mm -hmm. <laughs> back when I worked at, uh, Camp Textron. Yes. And, uh, yeah, the days tend to run into each other and it gets a little crazy and well, yeah, I'm sure you guys remember this commercial. Yes. Cause it's one of our favorites. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts are always fresh. I made the donuts. We make them at least twice every day. Time to make the donuts. Not a few kinds, like supermarkets. Make the donuts. Time to make the donuts. But up to 52 varieties. The donuts. <laughs> Time to make the donuts. I made the donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. Up to 52 varieties, fresh day and night. No supermarket. <laughs> I made the donuts. Yes. 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 I had a few of those days when I worked for the police department. It was, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get a notification again. Also, I remember the entire McDonald's song. Nice. Hi, Functional Industries. How are you? <laughs> I think I'm probably just going to have to get your number and text you before the show starts. That's probably what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> 
time to make the donuts. Yes. If my mom didn't didn't know this dude, it's not worth my time. Mario <laughs> was famous before he knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Windsor, hey, hey how are him. you? So good to see you here. Yeah, we're going through all these commercials here, and this one, yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> and I I love I love Dunkin' Donuts. It's one of my favorite. Things. Oh yeah, you know. I know. You know. Yes. I'm aware. And we don't have one in our little town here, so we have to drive either two towns over or to the great big town. Freeport <laughs> like, or yeah. Uh, Dixon. Yeah. I don't know how Dan or Foggy will like that. <laughs> 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 nah, Dan will be fine. I'll have I'll have Dan text you then. <laughs> there you thing. go. <laughs> That's Chef Boyardee. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's hilarious? That actually is Chef Boyardee. Is it really? No. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh my gosh, Daniel. <laughs> Denial. <laughs> Sam, how the hell are you? <laughs> Did we squeeze the Charmin yet? Not yet. Not yet. We're it's in there. Coming up. It's coming up. <laughs> One eyed cat. Oh wait, I missed. Uh, I've won twelve miles away. Lucky. Nice. Lucky. Yeah, I do not. No, it's either 20. It's yeah. Like, one's 24 and one's 22. I think. It's yeah. One, one's another one's 28 miles away. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a lot, they're a, they're a ways away. If I go to one now, it's far enough away where I, I feel justified in getting a donut. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm so coming all the way to hell out here. <laughs> God damn it. I'm getting a donut. I'm not, I'm not spending $12 <laughs> in gas to get, you know, a five dollar coffee. Just the coffee. I'm getting a donut too. There's got to be something else. Yes, as well. he said. No, that's Fred. <laughs> that is Fred. See, it's not his Fred. name tag. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> you should see him make the donuts in the back. It's kind of weird. <laughs> 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 and all I'm see the D the duck and the donuts guy reminds me of an aunt that would. That would make that face when she was being coy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts, six blocks. Oh, nice. you guys are so lucky. Where are you, Alaska? I'm getting a fucking donut. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're in northern Illinois and we're in a tiny little town. Tiny little town. Uh, like <laughs> It's like 4,500 people. <laughs> In this, it's like 4,500 people in our town, so they don't have, we have a McDonald's. Hey, there's a McDonald's in Byron. We have a McDonald's. We have a McDonald's, and that's the only fast food we have here in, in Byron. I mean, we have a Subway. Well, yeah, we have Subway, but they don't sell coffee. Little, we have a drive-in. It used to be a drive-in. It used to be a drive-in with a great big old, old car on the towns away, or we have to go to the big town. And I'm like, yeah. The big town. The big town, big city. <laughs> I have to go to the big city. I have two close by. One is seven minutes away. The other is 15 minutes away. Lucky dogs. Man. Oh, my gosh. I know this isn't related, but I watched a funny but awkward YouTube video, and the Taste the Biscuit video was on there. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's awesome. So... For those of you who are about our age, do you remember when they actually had cigarette ads on TV? Yes. Yes, we remember that. And the cool cigarettes was the one I remember. The yes, most. the cool cigarettes. Here's Marlboro Man. Yep. Come to where the flavor is. Come to Marlboro Country. <laughs> <laughs> That's for donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the Marlboro Man. I remember him. And then they had Camel Joe. Camel Joe. I remember Camel Joe like in the 80s and 90s. And yeah. then and then there was a big controversy. Oh, you're trying to make smoking look cool. Well, smoking is cool. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can't blame smoking. I mean. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> it is cool, but you know. Hey, Cousin Tim, yes, and everyone else I missed. <laughs> My dad smoked 400 packs of Marlboros and got a backpack. He still has it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that for the oxygen machine? 
<laughs> now it comes to the oxygen machine yeah. with the Marlboro logo on the front. There you of it. go. Yeah. There you go. So <laughs> <laughs> the destroyer says, I was having a smoke and missed it. <laughs> Does anybody remember when Camel had flavored cigarettes? They actually had cigarettes that tasted like bubble gum. Yes. They were the best ever. Yes. I one. don't remember those, but you said <laughs> the best one was which one? The bubble the gum The bubble gum flavor? Yes. Did, did you say that and I didn't hear you? Like, yes. did I tune you out? I'm sorry. What did you say? <laughs> so I think I'm still hearing volleyball <laughs> whistles in my head. Like Dan said to me like four times the other day, he was saying something to me and I'm like, I cannot hear you. Volleyball, I cannot hear you. <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh. She likes to mess with me a lot. Well, I was. it was true. I couldn't hear. Camel <laughs> Joe was cartoonish. They inclined that they were marketing to kids. Yeah. Yes. Yes. They were saying that, oh, well, you know, kids are going to start smoking cigarettes. Kids were smoking cigarettes back when my dad was growing up, and that was in what the fifties. Yeah, he started smoking when he was like ten. <laughs> like, yeah, at least they didn't taste like camels. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I like the lime ones. The lime ones were good too. Mm. Those were good too. I didn't get to taste. They should bring those back. I didn't get to taste they, them. They they outlawed them. See now, in order for me to have to have cigarettes that taste like bubble gum, I have to chew a piece of bubble gum and smoke at the same time. I know it's not the same. It's not the same. No. Yes, I love their mint ones. I'm definitely a mint kind of guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man, this sure tastes like a camel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on menthol, or what they sell is menthol nowadays. <coughs> yeah. yeah. I just do the regular flavor. Yeah. I smoke uh, cloves. He does cloves, which which smell really good. Yeah, really good. I got, right now, I got Lee's wings. If I can get it. So. Bali high. Bali high. <laughs> so he has to sing the song every time he he smokes one. <laughs> they smell really good. I smell them. They smell really good. I just said they smell really good. <laughs> smell Don't shove it into my nose there. But why not? <laughs> Skull. Yeah, I remember walking Just around. Cane cheating gum gives you great tobacco flavor. <laughs> I remember walking around the country bars when I was going with my friends in my twenties, and the way we could figure out if if a guy, you know like chewed was we just waited till he turned around and walked past us and we looked for the circle in the back of his pants mm -hmm. that, that was one of the reasons we were looking at the back of his pants but you know right <laughs> yeah brett says i was a basic bitch i used to smoke camel crush back in the 2010s yeah <laughs> oh don't be a quitter <laughs> <laughs> i think both clove and pot smell like a flaming dumpster full of skunk assholes <laughs> Well, I got both, so. <laughs> I asked Dan if, if uh, like, he crushed up the, the, the clove cigarettes and just poured them on top of a turkey or a ham, would it smell like, or would it taste like? It'd be awful nicotine -y. Yes, but, you know, we wouldn't be craving a cigarette right after dinner. That's true. I mean, you'd, you'd have all the nicotine right there. <laughs> just saying. Crush are still tasty. Yep. Yes. Kick the like, y'all. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes. Yeah, so skull. <laughs> so on the soft drinks and, and coffees and stuff like that. Do you remember this commercial where they were singing oh, the song? Yes. I'd like to teach, teach the, the world, world to sing. The simple in perfect harmony. harmony. Oh, in perfect harmony. Yes. Yes. I'd like to buy the world a coat. And keep it company. Ba, ba, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. Blah blah. blah. I think it's so nice. I don't know. Something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I remember that commercial. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of hippies singing that song. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Pepsi. Remember this one where? Uh, oh yeah, this is the one where Michael. Uh, Michael lost a little bit of hair. Got a little singed. Yeah, he, his hair started on fire. But that's <laughs> Alfonso Ribeiro. Yes. That's so cool. But yeah, like, <laughs> I remember the, 
it was it was like huge news back in the 80s oh my gosh michael jackson burned his hair yeah. and i'm like oh no what happened yeah it was like pyrotechnics or something on the set something, yeah and yeah caught his hair on fire or somebody like shot a flaming arrow at him or something i don't, I don't know, know whatever i don't was. know what happened i don't know what happened <laughs> Somebody that that has took not a been to his head. I don't know, it has none of, none of this has been confirmed. All I know is that I his hair started on fire. Confirm nor deny <laughs> any of these accusations. <laughs> don't tell people that a flaming arrow hit him in the head. Don't tell people <laughs> that because that's probably not true. I'm just saying it's not the Middle Ages, so it's it probably was a, not. At, true. at minimum, it was a blunt tip because he didn't have any blood. So. <laughs> 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 Boom! <laughs> 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 <Like the cartoon. laughs> yeah. I don't have a picture for it, but Folgers. Um, <sighs> yeah, I forgot. Remember yeah. earlier, I was like, "Remind me, I got to remember to do Folgers. Folgers." Remember to do the Folgers. Hey, thanks. Here you go. Anyways, so Folgers, <laughs> like best part of waking mm -hmm. up. It's Folgers in, in your cup. cup. It is the best part of waking up, by the way. I will attest to that because I have to have my coffee in the morning. Yes, yeah, it is the best part of waking up. <laughs> well, unless something else happens. And she does that too. She's like that little thing that he does with the cup. Yeah, he yeah. like holds it. And Dan makes my <laughs> coffee at night. So Dan, every time he lifts the cover off, he's like, <sighs> Every time. Here, smell this. I know what coffee smells like. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a Colombian. <laughs> <laughs> I must be a freak. Can't stand coffee either. What? 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 I don't drink. I don't. I don't drink. He doesn't drink much, coffee though. either. I do, but it's well, not he drinks out. iced coffee when I when we get it at Duncan. That's pretty, pretty much. much it. He doesn't drink it here at the house. I don't know. Unless I really need it. Oh, so exciting news that you don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> LOL, I got a new nursing job, less hours and more money. Hey, Heck, awesome. That's what I'm talking about. That's amazing, Brett. Congratulations. I'm yeah, I am dude. excited for you. That's amazing. That's cool as hell. That is really cool. Congratulations. I hope that I hope that works out really well for you. Less hours and more pay. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. Congratulations. Get yourself a can of Pepsi, but don't God, light your God hair on fire. God bless you for being a nurse. Yes, yes. That's not an easy job. No. That is a tough job. Yeah, my mom was a nurse for a few years. That's a hard job. All right, Kool-Aid. The Kool-Aid man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to get my fingerprints and background checked today. Hopefully, I'm not a criminal. <laughs> I always hate the waiting period, you know? Yeah, I would hope that you would know already <laughs> if you're a criminal, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Coffee is supposed to be drank hot. Ice is just wrong. <laughs> I do like I don't mind. I it. do like my, you know, hot coffee. Hot coffee. I do like hot coffee in the morning. <laughs> but like in the afternoon I like it iced. It's just better that way. Yes. A little afternoon delight. Yes. Wait, no. No. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what are we talking about? <laughs> we're, talking about we're talking about we're talking about Kool-Aid. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm on my way. You can feel it coming home and you've got to got to have some. Here I come to save the day. Got to got to have some now. Hey, Kool-Aid! Kool-Aid to the rescue. The one who up is big first. So I see refreshing and bright. Yeah. Got to got to have some more. Oh, Kool-Aid brand soft drink mix. For a kid's big thirst. <laughs> okay, does he realize that he just, like he said, here I here I come, I'm, I'm on my way to save the day. And then he broke through the wall, so now they can't play their game anymore? I know, they're, they're playing hockey. What do you Great think they're job. doing there, Kool-Aid man? Great, way to go. Great job, Kool-Aid man. You just destroyed what the game. What a jackass. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> but that Kool-Aid was pretty good for sugar and... Artificial flavor. If you showed someone else from another country the Kool-Aid commercials, they would think we're all on drugs. <laughs> I don't know. Japan, they probably would laugh, they would laugh their asses off. It's, it looks just like that show that they do. Uh, yeah. Whatever it's called. I can't remember. Yes. Wipeout. He said afternoon delight. Man, it's been a while. Yeah. 
Yesterday. Since yesterday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Flavored sugar water. Yes. There yes. And it tasted much better with more scoops of sugar. I can attest to that. Yes. I always I I like the um, fruit punch one. Yeah. But Chocolate like punch. I don't like grape. I, I don't like anything grape, I guess. Hawaiian punch always make like, my stomach hurt. I like grapes, but I don't like grape flavored crap. Is, right. Isn't that weird? I like grape flavored crap. <laughs> I do. <laughs> weird. Grape flavored crap. I crave yeah. it nightly. No, I don't. <laughs> no. Empire. 588 to 300. Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Empire today. Carpet tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Was that only here in Chicago? I think it was pretty much everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. It just they they would get that five eighty two three hundred, and then it would be whatever your local. Ah, uh, okay. Because like we have be the three one two. Three one two is Chicago, right? Yeah, it's Chicago. Yeah, because yeah, I remember those commercials all the time. I had that phone number memorized, even though my mom and dad never used that company. That was one of those you memorized the course, the phone number. You were saying that, that earlier that they changed it to an eight hundred number. Yeah, now I it's eight hundred. Now it's eight hundred five eight two three. Empire <laughs> <laughs> and carpet land. Oh my gosh! I carpet couldn't, land, USA. I couldn't get a good picture of this one, but that's the shag carpeting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's call carpet land and get some shag carpeting. That get sounds some fantastic. Some new shag. <laughs> <laughs> sounds fantastic. That's because it's not actually grape flavored. It's like watermelon. It's not watermelon. <laughs> why, why do they market it as watermelon? Tastes it like tastes like flowers, flowers and <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of things that taste like flowers and candle wax, you know? How do you know what flowers and candle wax taste like? Don't ask me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just asking. That's a legitimate question. <laughs> For think, you and functional that's history. Just that's just what I've heard. That's that all. is a legitimate question I'm, I'm asking saying. here. That's, that's just what I heard. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Phone yes. Friend? What? Phone a friend? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this one here, Culligan Man. Uh, oh, yeah. I never understood what they were trying to sell <laughs> until today when Are I was kidding? researching stuff and I'm like, oh, they're selling water. Yeah. Culligan was a water company. I never knew that. Water softener. Oh, water softener. See? I just yeah. now learned that it's a water softener company. I did not know. So yeah, all these years that I saw the Hey Culligan Man commercial, I never knew. You never knew. I never knew. You know. Is it making you sink, Rusty? How's your goldfish? Run away? Then you better call Hey Culligan. He can make just about any kind of problem water problem free. Excuse me, I gotta go find my fish. To celebrate the new year, get a filter. Hey, <laughs> Culligan Man! <laughs> I never knew what it was for. Never knew. Never knew. I do. Now I know. Yeah. It's amazing the things that you learn when preparing for this show. You know? It, I'm, I'm glad that we're doing this show. There you go. Because I would never would have known. Our trivia is gonna gotta be just out of control right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. You guys all remember this commercial? Reach out, oh, reach out yeah. and touch someone. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up that phone, dial the number you want to call. I don't know. I, don't I have no blah, idea. Blah, 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 there was like blah, more blah, to blah, it. Blah, 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 Something blah. I don't know. <laughs> Something about touching somebody. I don't know. She, she was she was uh, she was selling a little bit more than uh, than phone service. Yes, and knowing is half the battle. <laughs> exactly. Does isn't she the one that sings? Um, I touch myself. <coughs> she looks like her. Yes. So if you dial yourself, are you touching your? Are you reaching out and touching yourself? No. If you call yourself. Are you reaching out and touching yourself? Not unless you're actually reaching out and touch, touching yourself. I was just asking. Because <laughs> I did that on the sex offender <laughs> I did that and I got arrested. I got arrested. 
<laughs> oh, Police came God. out. First thing the chief said to me is, like, "You made me put my pants on for this." <laughs> Oh my god! I have that same phone hanging in my garage. Yep. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. We we were showing kids like when we 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 had moved into one of our houses and we we got a home phone because you know sometimes the kids would get home from school they wouldn't have their cell phones charged up or whatever and our youngest didn't have a cell phone yet so we're like we need a, a home phone and the kids are like what is that how do you use this <laughs> like they were looking at it like I don't know what to do with this how does this work. <laughs> this she's is like, too big to put in my like, pocket I pushed, I pushed the numbers in and then nothing happened <laughs> I'm like okay there's three steps here <laughs> first you have to pick up the phone then you have to dial the number then you have to wait until somebody answers yes it, it's a little different yeah and back then it was the cordless phone so you yeah. had to turn it on yeah you have to Hit the on and button was, was and cool. then listen is there a dial tone yep okay now i can dial uh, okay yeah do, 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 see those are the do, those are the do. phones stop it those are the, those <laughs> are the phones that were so much better to have when you broke up with somebody because you could say screw you and then hang Clang. up really loud on it and like it'd be ringing shaklanky yes it's just no fun to like slam your your cell phone down because then you have to go buy a new I one. I know it sucks. It's not a good time. <laughs> Never good. No. As a kid, we had a two party line. Ooh, oh yeah. If it rang once, it was for us. If it rang a double, it was for the neighbor. Yep. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's crazy. That's really cool. Yeah, if it rang. Yeah, that's really cool. I didn't, I wasn't. I wasn't there for the two party. I, like no, we, we, had, we, we had, only had like single line. Yeah, we just had the plain old telephone system. And and for the kids out there, um, we didn't have we didn't have answering machines yet. So like you had to actually take a piece of paper and a pen and write a message out for somebody because we didn't have voice crazy. Mail. Yeah, then we had voicemail. Then Ooh, had, that was a huge. Then advance. we had we had answering machines or answering machine. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah, and then you had to you had to like practice. Yeah. Before you left the message <laughs> on your machine. <laughs> Anybody else had All to right, do here's that? What we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna say every other word. That won't be annoying. <laughs> that's a surefire way of getting no one to call you ever. See, we totally screwed up. We should have came up with a couple of them and then just fired them off. So. <laughs> yeah. America Online, AOL. AOL, so easy to use. No wonder it's number one. Yeah. Yep. Time to make a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. If someone called you and you didn't hang up, it kept the other person from being able to make a call until you hung up. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. I know. I so know. you're holding them hostage. That's what you're doing. There was the big problem with the party line is a lot of times there would be a bunch of people on that line, and they were all listening. <laughs> 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 they would unscrew the the part that has the right receiver or yeah. whatever, and take the thing off the microphone. Yeah. Off. <laughs> you just listen, listen while everybody's having phone sex. No, that was that didn't go on back then. No. When you were dialing, when you were dialing up, it sounded like farm farm animals getting taped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tased from. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember I would I would come home from work, I would log on, and then I would go make dinner, and then I'd come back, and then most of the time it was just it was just coming on. Mm -hmm. The handshake. <laughs> the handshake protocol. Netscape. Yes. Netscape. Oh, oh, oh. Netscape Navigator. The power of the internet made simpler. Yep. Thanks for making it simple. That back then that was a good browser. Hmm. That's fantastic. It was magical. Mac. Say hello to iMac. The iMac. I hello. worked on a shit ton of those. <laughs> I used to hate working on those damn things because you had to tear the whole thing apart 
to do anything to the damn thing. <laughs> and the computer part was right behind the screen. Oh, geez. So you're risking getting shocked the shit out of you because it had wow. the tube in there with the high voltage line Holy going crap. to it. Yeah, you had to be really freaking careful. That's not good. One of those, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fruit fresh. The fruit fresh. <laughs> I did not remember this commercial until Dan reminded me of it because he says this all the time now. <laughs> this peach is brown and yucky. <laughs> <laughs> but this one's fresh and new. Try fruit fresh. <laughs> Look at this peach. It's brown and yucky. <laughs> yeah, I never, I don't remember that commercial ever, but then Dan was, he, he tells it all the time. <laughs> yes. Remember that commercial? No. <laughs> this one is one of my favorite ones at Christmas time because they, they we do wish, like the We bells. wish you a Merry Christmas. Yes. Dang, 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 yeah. dang, 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 dang. <laughs> she looks like she tried using it on her face. <laughs> <laughs> that could be. Could be. Oh my gosh. Yes, Hershey Kisses. Hershey Castles. <laughs> this one is my favorite one at Easter time. The Cadbury. <laughs> <laughs> for Cadbury egg yeah oh my gosh that's my favorite one oh they're <laughs> oh yep California raisins we're coming up for those too yes yep. big for both of those times yes we are gonna we're gonna look at those too now this one here I love this Pillsbury. <laughs> Let's make s'mores. <laughs> Let's make s'mores. <laughs> I saw this one and I'm like, holy crap, Ola, I have to put this on there. Yes. <laughs> but we have a commercial. Good call. We have a commercial for this. Thank you. We have a commercial for this. Pillsbury Crescents have so much butter flavor, they're hard to forget. Three Jacks. Full house. Hot Crescents. Why? Why? Oh, hot, fresh Pillsbury Crescents. Marge baked them last night. Oh. Mm. And the buttery flavor. Buttery? Oh. Yeah, they were loaded with buttery flavor. Every one of them. Oh, uh, like, <clears throat> how many every one of them? Three, four, five. Oh. Oh. Try butter flavored Crescents. Fresh and hot and Pillsbury. <laughs> taste the biscuit taste the goodness of the biscuit taste the honey sauce <laughs> had to throw that in there <laughs> it goes along with pillsbury it does taste the biscuit taste the biscuit yeah taste the biscuit taste the biscuit <laughs> taste the goodness of the biscuit <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> As the late great Bobby Miller used to say, it's right there. <laughs> Where is it? It's right there. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Taste the honey sauce. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, Fro like yeah, Pillsbury, so good. Yes. Another one, Frosted Flakes. Some head right now would be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right then. Hey. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that what she calls it? The biscuit. <laughs> 
Sometimes you got to call it the biscuit. <laughs> Tastes like honey sauce. <laughs> <laughs> But, but don't put the honey sauce on the chicken wings. No. It just don't taste right. Keep your honey sauce off my chicken wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, Frosted Flakes, they were good. They're great. <laughs> Life Cereal, Mikey. No, that's not our Mikey. No. Our Mikey wouldn't eat Life Cereal because he doesn't like anything. He wouldn't eat it pretty much. No. Every meal, every meal, it was. Had to fight the kid. Yeah. Every meal. Eat your food. Eat your food. Oh my God. Eat your food. Eat your food. Eat your food. Can I just take two more bites? No. No. Eat your food. (laughs) (laughs) Eat it. 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 it. (laughs) It's just going to do that. <laughs> we used to sing that to him all the time. He's like, I don't know what that's from. <laughs> Never mind, just eat it. <laughs> What's this stuff? Some cereal. It's supposed to be good for you. Did you try it? I'm not going to try it. You try it. I'm not going to try it. Let's get Mikey. Yeah. He won't eat it. He hates everything. He likes it. Hey, Mikey. When you bring life home, Don't tell the kids it's one of those nutritional cereals you've been trying to get them to eat. You're the only one who has to know. (laughs) Oh, yes, Mikey. Yes. Oh, Jolly Green Giant. Now, this was um, some kind of a foreign commercial. I don't know what country it's from. But Green Giant, Green Peas, full of green penis. (laughs) Apparently. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah it's unfortunate but uh well the green giant is full of green penis that's what i said it's un- that's, unfortunate. that's what his shorts are for, <laughs> <laughs> ho ho ho, <laughs> ho, ho, ho green giant. i saw another one another meme that said ho 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 be quiet <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Famous Amos cookies. Those are delicious. Let me just tell you. They are so good. They're evil. Oh my gosh. So good. Ah, Cinnamon Life. Yeah, Cinnamon Life was good. That was delicious. If the red green, if the red green peas swoop was was a a little little lower, lower, it would be full of red penis. Amen. <laughs> yes. Yes, it would. Oh. The California raisins. What do you know? Yes, there we go. You were mentioning it earlier. I yes. It the great band. <laughs> yeah, we collected these two. We had a collection of these two. They yeah, were, we had a collection of these two. Oh. Rice Aroni. <coughs> the San Francisco treat. Yes. Ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> Starkiss tuna. Yes. Chicken of the sea. Now, I know I was probably stupid as a kid, but I thought that it was chicken. Because it says it's the chicken of the sea. I thought it was uh... chicken. My mom's like, no, no. She ruined it for you. Yes, I, <laughs> I do. I like rice and r- rice rice roni. It's still the San Francisco. Trip. It is still very good. Yes, it's very good. Delicious. Yes, right. Uh, Charlie tuna. Their dirty rice is good. <laughs> I know you like it dirty. What? I like it dirty rice. What? Yeah. So the next, then this next one. <laughs> um, remember when Bill Cosby was spokesperson for Jello pudding pops? <laughs> The Jello Pudding Pop. <laughs> yes. I, I don't do it very well. <laughs> well. You know what's so cool about Jello Gelatin Pops? They taste just like Jello Gelatin. But they've got a handle. So, while your right hand is doing this, your left hand can be doing this or this or, you know. But if your left hand sees how much fun your right hand is having, it won't want to be left out. Now you have to share. 
Jello gelatin pops. Real Jello gelatin, only cooler. Do we really want to know what his left hand is doing? I don't want to know what he's doing, period. It looks like he's getting gangbanged or something, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we want to know what his left hand was doing there. I don't know. I'm just saying. He's sucking on one and sucking on the other. I don't know what that was all about. That was weird. <laughs> Bill been sucking that long? Yeah. Hey there, Bill. Been sucking that long? Bill Cosby repping Jello Pops makes as much sense as... Which is sense selling, selling gloves. gloves. Amen. Here, how do you suck on this? What? Well, his left hand slip fills in your drink. Yes, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. That's what I'm saying. Right there, Tim. Yeah, I don't think I want to know what his left hand is doing. No. I think we're safe not knowing. Yes. Yeah. Cocoa Puffs. I'm cuckoo, cuckoo for, for Cocoa, Cocoa Puffs. Puffs. <laughs> Tricks. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids, Lily. Uh, lucky Charms. Don't you be touching me, Lucky Charms. Don't you touch me, Lucky Charms. <laughs> Don't you be touching me, Lucky Charms. That's it. I've had enough. The Bill Cosmopolitan. <laughs> <laughs> Knocks you out in one with two sips. There it is. Buy it. <laughs> Take two sips of this and yeah, call the police in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the clapper. Remember the clapper? Oh my gosh. Clap on. Clap off. Clap on. Clap off. The, the clapper. clapper. Honey, turn off the light. Has this ever happened to you? Presenting The Clapper. Let your appliances turn on and off just by clapping. Clap on the music. It's easy. Just plug the clapper into any household outlet. Then plug in your lamp, TV, or stereo. Clap on. Clap off. For places hard to reach, the Clapper makes it easy. Plus, the Clapper comes with an extra feature to make your home more secure. Turn to the Away function, and your lights turn on at the first sound it hears. Minutes later, they turn off. And the Clapper resets to help protect your home. Leave your appliances plugged into the Clapper, and your lights will go on, turning away unwanted guests. Clap on, clap off. The Clapper. <laughs> My favorite is the lady at the end. The she lays over. <laughs> That's my favorite part of the whole thing. <laughs> Tim said they have they have pill, a pill for that now. Yes. Yes. The clapper. That was my high school girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, Brett. See, he did Why it. do I put makeup on when Brett's going to be on the show? Why do I do it to myself? Why? Oh my God. See, he, he had the clapper. I had the flapper. So I wasn't, <laughs> wasn't much better off. <laughs> Imagine clapping cheeks for a Francisco. Right? <laughs> oh my God. Alexa for the slow. <laughs> Already. Oh, I, can't get out. I can make better use with a crapper. <laughs> <laughs> Combined with the thigh master, you're set. Oh, oh just wait. Go. Oh, just wait. Just you wait. Just you wait. <laughs> Anybody Mutual know what this one? Yeah. Mutual of Omaha. Mutual of You can come and go in rub. Did you sing that for the commercial? No. Who did? Let's let them do it. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm on board. I'm kidding. If if I would have had a cam, I would have loved to be a guest on the meme show. LOL. Oh my <laughs> god, Brent. If you get a camera, you can be a guest on this one. Yes. I'm telling you, anybody like in fact, anybody who has a, some kind of a camera or whatever, if you want to be on the meme show, <laughs> show here. Just send me an email or, you know, whatever, like, let me know on here and we'll get you set up. Yep. So let me put our 
email address on here real quick. Oh, we don't have it on here. Yeah, it's not on there. Well, okay. We can add it. We can add it at some point. Yes, we. If you want to be on here and laugh with us out loud on the show, just type feel it in. Free. Type it in there. Okay, Dan's gonna type it in here. What is it? What is it? Author? No. What is my email address? Author. Author at gmail .com. Yes, author dot at gmail .com. Little g gmail .com. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta click the button. Uh, you have to make that an A instead of a Q. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? I don't know what you're doing. Okay, All right. right. We're going off the Author. rails here. There we go. Author. Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Mutual Omaha, the Indian that robbed you blind. <laughs> Is that called Indian given? I'm sorry. Yes. No, I don't know. I don't no. know. Isn't the meme <laughs> show gone? Uh, for right now. Yeah. For right now. Uh, Eric is real busy with, uh, like, his kids are in sports, a lot of sports. So right now it's gone. Hopefully it'll come back at a later time, but... Yes. We're still going to try to do a game night here and there. Yeah. Uh, we haven't done one for a bit yet, but it's been, we've been busy. Yes. <laughs> Mutual Omaha's Wild, Wild Kingdom. Kingdom. I love that that's, show, too. That's when they would show that commercial. Yes. I love that show, too. <laughs> With like to warning. What? What? Huh? What? What? I don't know what you said there, like Tim. Like to warning. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that is. Yes. <laughs> It, we're hopefully we'll do game nights soon. Yes, that would be good. The meme show will continue soon in the future. Family activities, Trump YouTube. Yes, yep. for sure. Yeah. Yes, here's the email address author.bethley at gmail.com. I will answer your email. I will. I promise. Game night rocks. Yes. Hello, Colleen. How are you? How's it going? I hope you're feeling better. Yes. Yeah, game nights. I hope we do another one very soon because they rock. That's why I erased the comment. Oh, okay. Got mm. it. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I read it anyway, huh? Well, it happens. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. All right. Another one. Get Met. It pays. Remember Met Life? Oh, yeah. My dad was working at Met Life when, when they started having Snoopy as the the Spokes spokesperson model. or whatever. Yeah, spokesmodel. <laughs> the mascot. This is nothing. <laughs> spokesmodel. So I remember he brought home like a little a little soup or like a little Snoopy um plush toy or whatever, a little mm. Snoopy stuffed animal. I got to keep it because I was the, the most the most well behaved. Nice. All the time. <laughs> so I got it. Snoopy was conservative. Was he? You can't tell. Because he's got a bow tie on? He's got a red bow tie on. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. <laughs> plop, Alka plop, Seltzer. whiz, whiz. Oh, what a... Oh, wait. <laughs> That's totally it. Ah, I still have tingling in my feet, but not bad. Oh, Colleen. I know how that, that feels. Sucks. Yeah, I, I definitely understand how you're feeling. I, I really hope you're feeling better soon. Yeah. This image seems kind of... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Snoopy>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh yes. Oh uh, yeah, it does seem very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little closer, closer with Aaron extra try. <laughs> Get a little closer. With air and an extra cry. I think they're a little too close. Like he's a, a little bit she's lower, a, and she's he a would a little too like a little lower, and he would be <laughs> like having his face in her armpit. I'm like I don't think you need to be that close to her armpit. <clears throat> God bless you. I could Our be name. wrong, but I just don't think that's necessary. It's probably not necessary. Not necessary at all. I just don't think so. But you know, they had like. With the with the roll ons and everything, they they had like um, hair products out there. They had like Prel, yeah, um, Vo Five. Yep. Um, I always wanted to try like the Prel stuff because like they had like the really cool commercials where the girls were like, 
you know, yeah. swinging their hair around. And I, I, I'm like, I want that. I want that kind of shampoo because I want to swing my hair around. You know, I thought that would be really cool. Um, <laughs> but we do have a, a, one one brand that was out, you know. I, I think it was out. I think it was. Here's a commercial for it. <laughs> had to <laughs> oh didn't they turn it to arid makes you dry <laughs> i think arid is a bit too dry <laughs> did you use right guard under your left arm <laughs> wow <laughs> Nice. <laughs> they got roll on deodorant at work. <laughs> hey, Wendy, how are you? Going on over there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, I had to throw a little bit of the meme show in here today. I had to. <laughs> I've been missing it bad. Oh, remember this lady? She was uh, Rhoda's mom. Yeah. On uh, what was it? Um, oh my god. Jeez. Uh, I can't think of the name. Mary Tyler Moore yes, Show. Not, yeah. Yes. She was Rhoda's mom. Yes. Bounty. <laughs> the quicker picker upper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I remember those commercials. She said, I'm good. Just been listening. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Her hair almost looks like the packaging. Yes. <laughs> 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 she definitely has She's that vampire a, thing uh, going widow on. Speak. Yeah, it's like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, is that a wig? I don't know. I don't know. But her eyebrows are the same color, so I don't know. Who knows? That's, that's weird. Don't squeeze don't the shaman. Don't squeeze the shaman. Oh my gosh. We would go into grocery stores just so we could <laughs> squeeze it and see if he'd come run around the corner. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Isn't that the guy from the Duck and Dogs commercial? No, his mustache no, is no. longer. No. He had more of a Hitler stash. Yes. But <laughs> we do have another another item that was popular in the oh, 70s and 80s. Oh, yeah. I forgot about There's that. There's a new pet. Ch -ch -ch Chia. Chia Pets, the pottery that grows. And now, Scooby Dooby Doo. He's a Chia Pet, too. Soak your Chia, spread the seeds, keep it watered, and watch it grow. Ch -ch -ch Chia. Grow a whole collection of fun with all Chia Pets, including Chia Croc. Chia Elephant. Rugged. Yes, and Chia Shaggy, too. Makes a great gift for everyone. And what's that? Ch -ch -ch Chia. Go Looney Tunes with Chia Bugs Bunny, Chia Daffy Duck, Chia Tweety, and Chia Taz. Don't forget about original Chia Pets and Chia Heads. Collect them all. Chia. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Whipple. Oh, Joker face. That's right. <laughs> Being a bounty hunter, you need to be able to be the quicker picker up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I got the Chia Bob Ross. Which one do we have? Which one do we have? Oh, do we, have Bob? we don't have Bob Ross. I don't no. remember which one we have. We got one for Christmas. Yeah, I can't remember who it is. Something funny. Too. Zoinks. I can't <laughs> Speaking of wigs, my mom wears a wig due to hair loss from dialysis. She's sassy. Some lady in a local Goodwill says it looks hideous, and she Charlie Murphy slapped her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Come god! Come in there! <laughs> On the five finger, same in the face. Slap! <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> she yeah. a, she a Biden? I'd buy that. <laughs> <laughs> On the ground next to a bicycle. Right. <laughs> <This lamp. laughs> I want one that that no, has, has, has the has the the has the whatever the walkway going up to the Air Force One. Yeah. And has him falling down going up. The, <laughs> I love that. That's my favorite. And have the chia part like the grass. <laughs> yes. You have the microphone right up his butt. <laughs> and the Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has a Willie Nelson one here in Pennsylvania for sale. Nice. Oh my gosh. I don't remember which one we have. We I don't remember which one we have. We've got one, but I don't remember which one it is. I can't remember. 
<laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> oh, new print. new print. Remember this one? New print. Little, yellow, different. different. <laughs> yes. And we have a commercial for this one, too. I can't talk about it anymore. It's giving me a headache. Here, take two of these. Ah, new print, little, yellow, different. <laughs> <laughs> yes, new print. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't buy the Ron Jeremy Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I am kind of interested in seeing how that works. So if, you, if anybody has one and just wants to show it to me, that'd be fine. <laughs> I would be more than interested in seeing that. <laughs> Little yellow background. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Oh Lord. Oh, Mayor. Yeah. And I believe that's this chick in the yellow is uh the one from Shears. I believe Diane that's her. Shears? Yeah, Diane, whatever her name is. I don't think it is. <laughs> Been trimming pubes for five months. <laughs> <laughs> I always hated this stuff, but you can smell this commercial. Like it, it's terrible. It stinks. Yeah, it stinks, and it doesn't work. Who wears short shorts? We wear short shorts. If you dare wear short shorts, nay for short shorts. If you want your legs short shorts bare without nicks and cuts, just take up the nair and take off the hair. If you dare. Nair, lotion, cream, foam, and new lemon spray. Nair, for short shorts. Now, can you imagine if, if they were to play that commercial today just on regular TV? People would freak the fuck out. Oh, my God. They're wearing <laughs> short, like, no. And we need to have a boy who's in there somewhere. Like, no. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that crap stinks. Yes. Yeah, I I tried that stuff on my legs, and all it did eggs. all it did was burn my legs. I hated that. <laughs> so hated it. Or like that. Just poison the hair away. There the you safe go. Way. <laughs> yeah. Poison it away the safe way. Yeah, I tried it like three times on my legs. The first two times it burned my legs really bad, and my legs were bright red. And then the third time I'm like, ah, fuck it, I'm not using this stuff anymore. <laughs> I just wiped it off. I'm like, eh, it's fine. I'll. Yeah, Nair, just just don't get it on your cooter, ladies. Yeah, no. <laughs> for sure, don't get it there. No. Yeah, that would hurt. If you get it there, you will not be using that cooter for a while. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. The thigh master. Here we go. Thigh master. <laughs> the thigh master six thousand. No, it was just the thigh master. <laughs> Suzanne Summers. Suzanne Summers on the Buttmaster Dancers. First you put your two knees as close up tight and then you move them in and out kind of nice and light. You lie down on the floor, time to get out of your rut. You move them in and out and side to side, it's great for your butt. Woo! Tired of feeling like a big old tub of lard. You use your butt master, you'll get nice and hard. You use it every day, no way to firm up faster. you wonder how you live without your butt master. Hi, I'm Deanna Jones, the inventor of the butt master, and I'd like to show you how to use it properly. <laughs> She's so serious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah, here's comments here. Those shorts are not that short. They're way shorter now. Yeah, yeah. they're way shorter now. True that. Especially mm -hmm. volleyball shorts. Yeah. Uh yeah. Yeah. After the top three layers of skin fall off, you'll be silky smooth. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Zan Summers. Yes. Cindy. Yes. <laughs> yep. Suzanne Summers selling out lotion and Kleenex since the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> You're aware? <laughs> I'm aware. I yes. Would to, I would have to second that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Don't tell Foggy. I'd still do things to Suzanne Summers that are legal, illegal in Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> she was she, I, she was built. She was built. Oh, yes. Suzanne Sodomizer. What? What? 
What? I don't know. I don't know what you just said there, <laughs> sir. You better stop talking. So they had different PSAs back in the <laughs> 80s, and one of them was Woodsy Owl. Give a hoot. Don't pollute. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I don't, what is it with the owl? The owls back in the 80s, because we had the Tootsie Pop, the Tootsie Roll one, know. or the Tootsie Pop owl, and now we've got Woodsy Owl saying, give a hoot, don't pollute. Maybe it's the same owl, and he's just tired of people eating their Tootsie Pops and, like, throwing the sticks in the woods. Maybe. And polluting. I don't know. Who yeah. knows? So we had that one. Let's find out. We have Smokey Bear. <laughs> Watch me eat this family. <laughs> <laughs> How many licks does it take? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what Smokey Bear saying. <laughs> Watch me eat this family. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of us that are about our age, like early 50s, you know, they had a PSA for parents at 10 o'clock at night. Do you know where your children are? Because <laughs> our our parents would just open the door up in the morning and say, "Yeah, don't, don't come home until the street lights come on." <laughs> and so parents had to be reminded to, you know, do you know where your where your kids are? Yeah. 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? <laughs> <laughs> Yep, they're somewhere out you running around. You ever been to a Turkish prison? <laughs> Sounds like the same guy. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. <coughs> you ever been to a Turkish prison? I think we have another PSA. <laughs> we spent two weeks with Dick one summer. There was a big explosion and all hit me in the face and him in the face. And it got in my eyes pretty bad. And uh, for a short time, they didn't know if I was going to see very much. <laughs> Beth, don't rub it in, in don't rub it in and, and the age, age. Yes. <laughs> hey i am very proud to be 52 it's all right i've earned every single minute of it <laughs> yep we're okay at 10 o'clock they're having sex in a van down by the river <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Poor Dick. <laughs> had, to, had to throw that one in, to, you know. Just... He didn't know if I was going to be able to see her. <laughs> I then he it. fell backwards. <laughs> he fell backwards. <laughs> Wendy, I'm older than you. <laughs> hey, that's all right. As long as you've earned those minutes, you know, you're fine. You're, you're, good. you're good. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, when I turned 50, I, I remember I had seen the, you know, the skit on SNL where, you know, Molly Shannon was doing the, I don't remember her name, Sally or something. Um, the one where she's like, I'm 50. Oh, yeah. So I did that like. Aunt, Aunt Sally or something. Something like that. Yeah. I can't remember. but I, d funny. I did that dance for so many, so many <laughs> days in a row. Dan videotaped When she it. turned 50? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You. You can see it on our Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for streaming tonight, guys. Absolutely. Have a good one. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Yes. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Every every last one of us. <laughs> He's the youngest fella in here. No, ah, functional histories. <laughs> youngest fella in here, huh? <laughs> Fucking phone. Had a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Minutes my ass years. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah, you've earned every single one of them. Be proud of your age. Be proud of it. Yep. I was always I, like when I turned 30 I, or when I turned 40, I think I was nervous to turn 40. And then I realized I earned every goddamn year that I've that I've spent on this planet. And you know what? It's good. It's good. It's been a good time. <laughs> I'm gonna. It's good. It's good. It's good. I'm. I'm make it. I'm gonna make it another day. The, you gotta have the moose. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> Brett says functional. I'm 32. <laughs> You've got an old soul, then, Brett. I can tell yep. you that. Yes, good sense of humor. Absolutely. So homework That's next week. Sure. Tell your friends about the show and and just come back. Come back in and join us. And 
next week we're doing video games and arcades yes. from back in the day. So bring a friend night. That's what the that's what next that's week what is. It is. Bring a friend night. So we are we're so we're so happy that you guys are here and we really appreciate everybody um just supporting us and coming in every week and you guys mean a lot to us. So if you know anybody that has a sixth sense of humor like us, bring them in. <laughs> <laughs> We'll probably have more more sick jokes and <laughs> <laughs> been around a lot of different people from different ages. Can't wait until video games next week. Yes, yes. it's it should be a good one. It should be fun. So, yeah, I've got to do my research on that, but it should be good. You're gonna to have to help with that because you play more video games. Than it's I Buzzer gets me from Atari. Have you played Atari today? <laughs> you don't remember that? No. Oh come on. Colleen says, I'm out, guys. Have a, Everyone have a great night. <laughs> yeah, we're one, on Colleen. our way out to you. You guys have a great night. We will see you <laughs> next week. Thank you so much again for coming in and joining us. And have an awesome week.